Marhaba, that's hello in Arabic. I'm Chef Kamal and you're cooking with Kamal Lebanese style. I'd like to show you the way that I like to prepare lamb turbans, or as they're known in Arabic, laham ba'ajin. These lamb turbans are absolutely beautiful and they taste just as good as they look. Now, we're making these with ground lamb. You can also use ground beef or ground chicken. The recipe would stay the same. Or you can make the spinach filling and substitute that for the meat. Now, I've already prepared everything in advance. Now, the wonderful thing about this, like the rest of the Meza Finger Foods, is you can make these days to weeks in advance. You can store them in the refrigerator or in the freezer for several weeks and then take them out when you need them. They're absolutely beautiful for tea parties or for little cocktail buffets. They're so easy to pick up as a past hors d'oeuvre. I think you're really gonna enjoy these. Now, what we'll do first is we're gonna take a piece of the dough and set it right in the center of a round dish we're just going to open it to about a three and a half inch diameter. Now, if you need more olive oil, I just take some from the dish that we soak these in. Because after we cut the dough, we dip them in olive oil. We're going to open this up to about a three and a half inch round. Okay, and once we get that opened, we're going to take two teaspoons of our lamb filling. Now, this is raw meat, so what you want to do is you want to keep this in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. We're just going to go ahead and sort of shape it into a little dome. And then what we're going to do is take two sides and lift it up and over the filling to make a dome. There, it's like a little hood over this dome filling. And we're going to pat down each side. Then I'm going to turn the plate a bit. We'll just turn the dish and we're going to lift one edge at a time and bring it over and that's how we sort of get this little wrapped appearance around it and I'm going to go ahead and do that again we're going to do that three times so that was one that's two that's three and on the last one here we're going to take this one and we want to wrap it up and tuck it underneath so that it won't unravel when it bakes. And there we have a lamb turban. And we're going to transfer this to our baking sheet. I'm going to go ahead and do this again. So again, we just take a piece of the dough. You can use both hands or just, both, you know, one set of fingers or two, whichever you find easier. I'm just going to go ahead and open it to a three and a half inch round. Really get it open to about three and a half inches round because that's going to help you when you get to the folding. You need you need the extra dough around the border there. We're going to put two teaspoons of the filling. And again, you could do, this could be the chicken filling, this could be ground beef, or you could even make the spinach filling and make them vegetarian. We're going to shape it into a dome. And then we're going to lift two sides up and over, forming a little hood over the filling. We're going to press down on either side, securing the filling in the center there. And we're going to lift and bring it over and just press down. And this way I can just turn the dish. I don't have to try to turn the little finger food, the lamb turban. And then we're going to do another one. That's two, three, and then this last one, you want to lift it and tuck it underneath so that while it bakes, it doesn't unravel. And then go ahead and shape it back into a little turban. And there you have your lamb turban. And what you're going to do is before you place them, you'll keep lining these on the tray about a half inch apart. You just take three pine nuts and just press them right in the center here. And you just go ahead and bake those. You've got lamb turbans. They're beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. For more information on this recipe and my cookbook, Classic Lebanese Cuisine, please visit us at cookingwithkamal.com. I hope you enjoy preparing these recipes with your friends and family, as we say in Arabic, sahtain, double help.